<laughs> oh hi, I'm Jonathan. I do Perl 6 stuff occasionally. Um, today I'm going to talk about awesome operators, as in operators that are kind of new in Perl 6. So, um, how many times have you written stuff like this? Okay, so if the status is error or the status is more, like I have to mention this damn thing twice, and if I go refactoring, I have to update both and I probably get it wrong. <laughs> Isn't this much nicer? Please feel right. I'm alive. <laughs> okay. You're on the wrong slide. I am on the wrong slide. There we are. Isn't that much nicer? Okay. Yeah. If the status is error or warning. No, it's not just magic syntax. This is a first class thingy called a junction. And it works like this too. Okay. How nice. Sequences. So, I want to get all the numbers uh, in this geometric regression, okay? So, we could just write a range, but ranges are a little bit sort of silly. I mean, they only count up one at a time. But if I just add another dot, then I get a sequence instead. And that means that it'll look at these and say, huh, I learned geometric regressions at school, and it'll work it out for us. Now, that's kind of alright, but what if we want to do something really weird like Fibonacci, okay? Because this it isn't going to infer Fibonacci for me. But it turns out, what I can do is actually just shove a little closure in here. So I say, we have one, we have one, and then to get the next thing, add whatever to whatever, and then just keep going. Are this you sure that isn't really an anime cat hiding in the code? <laughs> Damn, our plan is thwarted. It looks really cute though. <laughs> yeah, we, I should do a talk on that, shouldn't I? Anime cats hidden in Pearl 6. Um, so, this is an infinite list as well. So you don't have to decide how many Fibonacci numbers you're going to have. You can have all of them. Just don't try and ask for too many or you might run out of memory. And we can refactor it like this, okay? I don't just say 0 to 9, I can just say, oh, give me all the ones up to 10. You can see it's up to because it's pointing up or something. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, maybe you think by now, you know, we've, we have sort of added a few things. But when I write subroutines, well, that's okay, but things get a lot more interesting when I can pass subroutines to other subroutines and I can do higher order programming. But operators, how do we do the same thing? Well, what if we made operators that were higher order? Operators, not operator operators. Yo, dog. <laughs> higher order operators, or as we call them, meta operators. This is reduction. It takes the multiplication operator, you can see that in there, and then it puts some wrapper around it that says, actually, do this between every element in the list. That's factorial, okay? It's multiplying 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 all the way up to 10. Or we can take the less than operator. I want to check if this list is sorted. So I just make sure that all of the numbers in the list are less than the one that comes next. Zip. Zip takes elements from two or more lists and just combines them in some way. This is string concatenation. So what I get out is 1a, 2b, 3c, and so forth. By the way, <coughs> one really useful thing people have done with this is they notice that if you take an array and you want to have it sort of dragging behind one element, well, you zip it with itself but sort of offset it by one and you're done. What about all the permutations? We do that with a cross operator. That gets you all of them. So now I have operators. I have meta operators. But what if I want more? Well, I can have my own awesome operators. Why? Because actually, in Perl 6, operators are just, well, functions with funny syntax. And you can add extra subroutines to your program. You're doing that all the time. So why can't you add new operators? Because after all, it's just some funny subroutines, right? 
So you can. Let's add factorial. So postfix, exclamation mark. This means it's a postfix operator. It looks like that. It does factorial. There we go. And if you do this, you get all of the meta operator forms automatically as well. And you have all of Unicode. So I want to insert an operator in the middle of an array. Okay, an operator, uh, sorry, an element in the middle of an array. What do I do? Well, let's go and find the Chinese character for middle, which sort of looks like a thingy being shoved in the middle. There we go. Okay. I take my array, I take the thing I want to insert, and we just splice it in halfway through. There we go. Merci beaucoup.